to everybody. Today we're going to look at the Victec security kit, which is the escape room from Chris Ramsey. So you may or may not have seen the Chris Ramsey escape room video, and this is the package that he's released accompanying that video. And this is the details from the first dot shop. Somewhere in the not too distant future, Chris Ramsey sent a distress beacon to the Hadrian base station. This is where you come in. Can you help Chris track down and eliminate the Ace clones? So this is a standalone escape game, and it comes with the following things. A mobile slash desktop digital experience, the Vectec security booklet, game cards, and a deck of USPCC playing cards. You can get this from the first dot shop, and if you're in the UK, then you have to get it from somewhere like the Card Inn, which is where I got it from. So a link to those two shops below, and thanks again for James for sorting it out. So how much does it cost? On the first dot shop, it's $30, and on the Card Inn, it's £40. Obviously due to the UK not being in the EU anymore, there's additional taxes and things like that that go on, so that's why there's the difference on the two websites. So let's jump straight into it and get it unboxed. So here we go, this is the cyber security kit. So here it's the modern identity solutions from Victor Technologies. That's the front of the box. On the side you get some details there like that. I don't know which way it goes, but you've got some sort of hieroglyphic type thing and some boxes on there. On the side here you have the QR code which is scanned to get access to the Victec digital interface. And again you can use that on the iOS device and the computer. I tried it on both just to see whether it works on iOS and the computer and it does so that's a great. And on the other side of the box it says rated the most reliable identity protection service in the solar system for the 20th consecutive year so good going on that on the back of the box it's got some details as well use this toolkit to crack codes break into malicious encrypted file repositories and provide remote support to clients across the universe vector technologies is pleased to provide the most robust remote support access kit within the market even the luddites can follow along with this easy step-by-step -step solution for distance troubleshooting fend off pesky rogue ai units fight back against malware attacks, step up offensive firewalls and more. So that just about covers the box so let's get it opened and see what's inside. So on the top there's nothing nothing else in there, it's just a cardboard box so nothing hidden. On side here you've got some more symbols. And then the design there. On the side here you've got remote support efficiency, so it tells you some details about that. And then on the other end of the box is just uh, the continuation of the design. So let's see, so in the box you get this uh, the booklet here, you get a deck of playing cards, and you also get some game cards. And in the rest of the box, you take it apart, there's no other hidden things like that, no sort of other things that you need for it. So we go, there's the contents of the box that you get with it. So first things first, we're going to look at these game cards. So I'll put the rest of these things off to one side. So the game cards come in a little plastic wallet. I'll take them out of here. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on the back of the cards, they're all actually numbered. So you can see there, card eight, card seven, card six. And they all have specific letters and number coordinations on here as well. So these are different on each of them. So you can see here and there. All of those are different. So that's the back of the game cards. And on the front, there's another different designs. So you can see there, that was just a quick glimpse because obviously you don't want to give too much away because you need these to play the game. On card number seven and card number eight, there's a little circle with some letters on. So that'll be used for decoding some stuff. There's also a node reference guide on number six. Number five is the HVAC system. Number four is the energy system. Number three is the water system. Shift condition explain is number two. And number one is the Creed password decoder. So that's a quick look at the game cards. Can't really show the front because that'll spoil the escape game for people. I think in the near future possibly doing a video going through the actual escape room and seeing if I can solve it and stuff like that. So that'll be quite interesting. Like what Chris did with one of his previous videos, he wants to give people time to actually do it for themselves and then the video can follow after that. So that's the game cards. So up next is the cyber security access booklet. It says it's the premium version and it's also got an access code on there. On the back it's just got some bump about rated the most reliable identity protection service. I like the little details in it so it's a, here it says tech technical manual but then obviously the letters are all separated and then on the back it's got one here that says terminate. So the first page of the booklet this is the creed of the cyber security technician. If it ain't broke be sure to play with it. It says there's only room for one eye in security. A good technician must heed all warnings provided by the interface. Bad decisions make good stories which is always true. Early training is an absolute must. Whenever possible assume the worst. When in doubt control or delete. As you can see here with some of the letters they're actually in red and some of 
of them are underlined so that's going to be some sort of clues for the puzzle as well. So another one of the pages is the Hadrian Environmental Systems which shows water, energy and HVRC. Never trust a computer you can't throw out of a window. As you can see here it's got a 2FA protocol required and that is what those the circular thing that I was talking about earlier. On the next page it's got the circular ring here as well and a place to put your cards so you must put them all together and generate 2FA codes and things like that. So this is the middle of the manual. As you can see here it's got loads of different zones and they're all numbered and it's got the numbers on here. So I'll show you something later on you're going to need these for different locations and numbers and things like that. So on here it's got a communications directory, it's got the technical support line, it's also got a, an uplink entry command and underneath the game cards is the unique booklet code as well. Then we have a section here about outbound signals and it must be sent via spot and radio drive. And it's got a review system here as well. I'm not sure what they mean but that's in the booklet and that is the booklet finished. And then last thing that's in the box is the playing cards. Let's get these cracked open. So on the bottom there it's got First Playing Card Company by Chris Ramsey and the little text just says manufactured by USPCC made in the USA. So that's the bottom, it's got a nice little barcode there, so it's part of the, the escape room or something like that or whether it's just part of the design. And then on the front you have this nice space, space style design. Continue down the back, on the top as well and it's got the little the arrows to show you where to get the cards out. On the side it's got the CR52, so Chris Ramsey 52 and then on the other side just more sort of space electrical things with the electricity and things like that. Let's open them up. So the tuck case it follows around with these and on the top as well it follows around that same design. Inside the box is blank, nothing in there. So the first thing on here it is the Joker card and it's got the identical Jokers as well. And there's the back, so we'll have a quick look at the back. You see there the back design with the blacks, the reds and the whites, and no matter which way you have them, it's still exactly the same. So we have the two identical Jokers. You have the Ace of Spades. And you see it's got the CR52 on the bottom, it's got the first at the top. And then in the spade itself it's got three heads as well, as you can see there. So going through the faces are just uh, standard USPCC faces. And the court cards have got a nice metallic colour in them as well. So instead of having your standard colour, it looks a bit more space age as well. So that was the jack, there's the queen, there's the king. Back onto the diamonds. And the diamonds have got quite a, an orangey colour rather than a red. So they're a bit more lighter than the standard ones. Back onto the jack, it's got like a silvery colour on it as well and that goes well with the, the orange colour of the diamonds and hearts rather than the, the normal red one. Then your queen, and your king, and then king of clubs, queen of clubs, and jack of clubs. Again, all just standard. Standard ace of clubs, king of hearts, Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, so in here we get a double backer, this one here, normal card back and then on the front it's got a bunch of numbers and some of them have got squares in them and things, one in red, 14, my favourite number, so yeah that's the deck, so you, you double backer, you get your two jokers and then that additional card. Look really nice in the fan, you've got the, the red, white and the dark accents along the outside of it. And then again you've got your blacks and your reds which are slight off so it's more orangey than reds. handle really well as well and they're similar to the other first playing cards which is really good because I think they're a really nice deck of cards. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the unboxing and looking at all the things inside. Like I said I'm looking to do a video in the near future where I do the escape game and use all the kit to see if I can complete it and record that while I'm doing it. So if you're interested in that leave a comment below. Until next time, see ya!